Hazing is more than what meets the eye. It may look or seem like a team is a family. People may think that teammates would never hurt one of their own. But behind coaches' backs and locker room doors, athletes of all ages and skill levels are physically and mentally injured. Injured from people of their own, from the ones they're supposed to rely on. Hazing is any incident that causes embarrassment, harassment, or ridicule that may risk emotional and or physical harm to any member or members of a group or team, whether new or not, regardless of the person's willing to participate. They do what others have done to them. Perpetrators want to leave their mark on the tradition and therefore they may add or change it slightly. They feel as though they have the right and duty to pass on the tradition to either new, younger, or weaker teammates. Has shown that 71% of those who are hazed suffer from negative consequences. The negative effects caused in part due to hazing go on and on. Physical, emotional, and or mental instability. Loss of sense of control and empowerment. Decline in grades and coursework. Relationships with friends, significant others, and family suffer. Post-traumatic stress syndrome. Loss of respect for and interest in being part of the organization. Hazing is unacceptable in today's society. The steps taken to embarrass or hurt another teammate have been taken too far and need to end. Athletes should be first in the other team, not their own. Serious incidents of hazing have recently occurred close to Waterford. A Wald Lake Western football player was strapped to a pole with his mouth taped shut at the home of an assistant coach in Wixon, Michigan during a team function. The player was defenseless against his teammates while they struck him with pillows and sticks. As many as five players were suspended, three games over the incident, and two assistant coaches were allegedly fired for not reporting what happened to school officials. As athletic director of Waterford School District, what are the consequences of hazing? Uh, the consequences of hazing are spelled out within our handbook, our student athlete handbook. Um, it is uh, basically if there's any uh, thought that hazing may be taking place, a uh, conference with mom, yeah. dad, the student, the coach would take place first. If at that point we determine that it's a serious enough offense, uh, the student athlete could, or student athletes, and there's multiple players involved, yeah. could uh, risk up to dismissal from the team. All right. So it would fall into our student code conduct. Yeah, has, have we ever had a incident here at Waterford dealing since, with that? Since I've been here, we have not. It's no. been, so that's uh, going on seven years now. We have not had a hazing right. incident, so right. we've been very good. Yeah, all right, that's good. Thank you. What's your take on hazing as a varsity baseball coach? Um, I, I think hazing is um, something that people need to be very aware of and that um, parents and coaches and players should make sure that um, being part of a team never becomes something where um, uh, an athlete or a student is put in danger or made to do something they feel really uncomfortable about doing. Um, and by having awareness about the issue of hazing, it can prevent the problem uh, before it happens. So what would you Cases of hazing are not only taking place in high school football. Band member Robert Champion from Florida A&M was initially hazed to death by his bandmates. The members beat him while on their way home from a game, leaving him lifelessly puking in a Florida parking lot. Humiliation, embarrassment, shame, and being picked on are all things that can haunt people for the rest of their lives. Injuries are also very common when dealing with hazing activities. Anything from broken bones to serious head injuries can be picked up in the process of hazing. Most people who have been brutally hazed report being depressed or suicidal. Many victims are currently in or have been through different types of therapy. Hazing causes a great deal of people to seclude themselves from society because of the emotional scars it leaves. These effects show that hazing is no longer just a guiltless tradition, it is a serious problem. Hazing has to stop somewhere. According to the Foundation to Prevent Hazing, nearly 1.5 million high school students are hazed each year. That's around 47%. Rules need to be stiffened to end the abuse that's currently going on. Athletic directors and principals need to enforce harsh punishments to show how serious of an issue this is. Coaches need to be aware that their team should be as one and hazing shouldn't go on. They need to talk to their players about the topic and make sure they know it will only hurt the team altogether. <laughs>